Hey guys, I've got a couple little projects to get done this weekend. First one on the docket is harvesting some potatoes. So my neighbor kindly gave me some purple fingerling potato starts this year. I've never grown potatoes. Um, and so I've got kind of two plots of potatoes. First one is just kind of right here, this little itty bitty row. And then another one is in one of the raised garden beds. That's gonna be another project this weekend. I need to move that garden bed um, over here so that I can build a second trellis. Um, so before I move it, I need to harvest all those potatoes. They might not all be quite 100% ready, but hopefully we'll get some potatoes and they might just be on the smaller end. So let's go pick through and see what we got. Okay, as you can see, this garden bed is a little neglected. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of put it back here and forgot about it. <laughs> so um, I've really put absolutely no time and energy into it, but that's okay. There is uh, always time to restart, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this into the fall garden bed. So I'm gonna fill this with a whole bunch of garlic that I sourced locally um, from Wrangell, Alaska. So I'll tag them below. And um, in order to do that though, <laughs> I need to get out the rest of these potatoes. So I've got a little tool here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh no. Despite my many efforts, it looks like I have the start of a salmonberry bush, which I have tried so hard to get rid of, but they are just so invasive they just go everywhere even if you don't want them to i'm also so surprised at how deep these potatoes grow i've just like never grown potatoes before and i didn't realize i know i hilled them i didn't hill them a lot i could have hilled them more um but they're like pretty deep down here so i guess i just need to keep digging Okay guys, I'm t calling it quits on the uh, potato harvest for today. I'm getting eaten alive by no CMs. Uh, they are so bad out here tonight. <laughs> they have been for the past couple weeks and I just cannot stand it. Um, so overall, I'm pretty impressed with the harvest. My first time, like I said, growing potatoes. These are purple fingerling potatoes. Some of them are actually a pretty good size. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'll just need to brush these off, let them dry out kind of clean them up a little bit and then store them. Um, I think I'll come back tomorrow um, when the bugs maybe aren't so bad and I'll just go through these two sections where I had the potato plants, um, see if I find any more. Um, but overall, not too bad for my first time. I think next year I am not going to put them in the raised beds. I'm gonna put them in those bags that you can just keep hilling. Um, I think if I was a little bit better on hilling them and maybe wait a little bit longer to harvest, I would have had a better um, collection of potatoes for the year. Um, but for my first time, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, we'll just uh, see how next year goes, I guess. <laughs> All right, guys, it's a new day. I'm back at it. Um, today, I really wanna get uh, these raised garden beds, the one that's over on the other side of our property, moved over here so that I can get it filled and get ready to put the garlic in. Fall is coming very quickly. The wind is coming in, the temperatures have totally changed, and so I really need to get after this and get it done. Um, and then once I get it in place, I also want to install these little clips. Basically, I just bought them from the hardware store. Um, they're in like the metal conduit electrician section of your local hardware store probably. They're like a couple cents each. Grabbed a whole bunch of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, six per bed. Um, and then I just bought this plastic red um, half inch PVC. Um, it's really flexible. And then I just cut that to the length that I want it to be. Um, and that is how I made my hoops. Um, so instead of using the plastic, I used the fabric this past spring and I really liked it. It worked really well. I'm hoping to use that this fall to kind of like extend my fall growing season, especially for my lettuce and greens that I planted for my fall harvest. Um, it's just really nice to have that as long as physically possible. So the hoops um, with the fabric will really come in handy as it gets cooler out. Um, so as you can see, we've got a little bit of a slope here. 
Um, so what I had to do when I put this last one in over here was basically dig out a little trench and then get my level and kind of put a board across it with the level and see if I could get it as level as possible before I started to fill it. Um, I didn't worry about the grass because I'm going to just pile a whole bunch of stuff on top of it and it just takes more effort to fill up my beds. And I like to use whatever I possibly can to fill up the beds up until the last like six inches or so with dirt. Um, I did that for these first two beds when I put them in this spring and you can see they've actually lost um, quite a bit. So things are decomposing. I know that that's kind of controversial um, putting dead stuff like sticks or grass or um, leaves in there. but. You gotta use what you got and it costs a lot of money to buy dirt here in Sitka. So I am just going to fill it with whatever I have laying around the yard once I get it in. So let's get that bed moved over and start to level this out. Okay. Okay, it's definitely got a little bit of a slope. I'm gonna go get the level and a piece of wood and some shovels and we'll see if we can get that leveled out. So as you can see, I'm just kind of following the line where I left a little imprint on the grass and I'm just going to peel up that whole layer where it's uneven um, and get kind of as much of that back as possible, sit it down, test it again, make sure it's really level and then come back. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay guys, so it took a little bit more maneuvering than the last one I did, but that's okay, I got it in. I kind of ran the level all the way down. It is level on both sides and in the middle, so I think it's as good as it's gonna get for now. Also take into account that the ground is gonna settle and kind of move. Um, and once I fill it and kind of throwing shovels of dirt in there, it might move a little bit, but looks great. It's in place. It looks really balanced, I think, with the rest of the garden bed, so I'm excited about that. Now I just need to move all the dirt that's over in that pile back over here, fill it back up, and then get started with garlic planting probably on the next video. While I'm doing yard work, this is what my dog is always doing <laughs> in the background. She's a stereotypical lab, her name is Nuka. Um, you'll always see her in the background. Um, she's got a stick right now that she's very proud of, so she's. I'm just gonna let her roll around and play with that while I move this dirt over. <laughs> um, also, I was looking at the dirt and there's quite a bit of weeds that have grown in there because I neglected it. Um, so I'll just kind of like start to sort through some of that as I move it over. Try not to get too many weeds as I transplant it, but we'll see. soil. I'm gonna keep these moving over. That's probably good enough for the first load. I'm gonna haul that over, dump it in the bed, come back, do it as many times as it takes to get all this moved over. Soil quality actually looks pretty good. I just filled this up, I want to say in June or July, um, and a lot of the stuff I put in there is already starting to break down pretty significantly, which is great. And there is so many worms, so it's really good soil. I'm gonna try to get all those worms transferred over. I wanna keep them in the garden beds. Um, and we'll just keep working. Also, just a quick note, um, I bought this, I think it's called a, a gorilla cart. I bought this, um, I wanna say in June at the beginning of summer, and it is the best thing ever. If you've ever used a wheelbarrow or if you regularly use a wheelbarrow to do all of your yard chores, hauling wood, dirt, potting soil, mulch, whatever it may be, this thing is totally gonna up your game. It's like really low center of gravity. It's got two big inflatable wheels. Um, it comes really easy to put together in a box. It's actually really affordable. I think it was only like $100 or something like that. Okay guys, so I intended to finish this garden bed move and refill uh, over the weekend, but living in Southeast Alaska, you cannot always win when it comes to the weather. So. When I stopped doing the project on Saturday afternoon around lunchtime, I wanna say, 
it basically started raining and then didn't stop until today, Monday. So I'm on my lunch break and I just finished filling the bed. I threw one fresh bag of container mix on top of it. Um, and I think I might get one more bag. I want to fill it up to the very, very brim so that over the course of winter, as it starts to break down, there's, it doesn't lose that much, but I want to show you guys. It looks so good. I'm loving the four beds. I just think that they look really symmetrical. I'm really excited to work on getting some stone pavers to kind of run through this pathway to take you back around the house to the back corner. I think that'll be super fun. Um, I'm really excited for next week's video because I'm going to be doing quite a bit of last minute fall planting, including some high bush blueberries. So there's a company in Juneau, Alaska called uh, Landscape Alaska. It's a family run business. They are awesome to work with. Um, basically you go on their website, which I will link below and you can pick out anything you want, put it in your cart, and then they will tell you if they have it in stock or not. And then they'll send you a quote on email, you pay for it and they put it on sleep lanes that day. Um, so I've ordered from them a few times now and every time it is wonderful. They're always checking up to make sure that the order came through well, everything, you know, shipped well, nothing tipped over and they pack it so beautifully. Um, next time I get a shipment in, I'll definitely take a video of that because they box it up. They put little wood braces in it. It looks so good. So these are the three high bush blueberry plants that I want to put in next weekend. Um, so I'm really excited to take a video of that. I'm thinking that since we did the big tree cleanup and kind of haul out of this end of the property, I do want to keep a little bit of our privacy. Um, so the nice thing about the trees, even though that they were really restricting quite a bit of airflow and light and growth, um, they did give us quite a bit of privacy, kind of sheltered us from our neighbors. So I want to add a little bit of that back. Um, I don't want to do it with trees though. I want to do it with bushes and shrubs. And so I'm going to take those high bush blueberries, put them back here, kind of scatter them throughout next to this huckleberry, um, and see how that kind of looks. So tune into the next video and that's it for this weekend and I'll see you later.